Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and here we are starting another brand new series seems like every single time I record a video it's, it's to start a series but that's a good thing that way I got more options uh, day to day to um, record different things if maybe I don't really feel like recording Dark Souls then I can choose in between Limbo and now Evo Land 2 so um yeah, uh, this game came out maybe about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Uh, this is for the PC. We are playing with a controller pad, obviously. Uh, so yeah, uh, Evo One, Evo One, Evo Land One, or the original one. In case you didn't know, it's like a kind of RPG-based game, but uh, you start in I don't know, say maybe Game Boy, like normal Game Boy graphics, black and white. You don't get sound and stuff like really. Really, really, really basic, like a lot of the like the most basic thing ever. And then, like every time you collect something, maybe like you can collect. Um, you just collected uh, sound, so now the game's got sound. And then we keep upgrading the graphics, the sounds, maybe some options like save points, a health bar, uh, until the game starts to become a normal RPG game. So I'm guessing number two is. Uh, Kind of on the same line, this that. So I'm guessing we're going to start as a really, really basic thing, and then we're going to collect loads of random shit. Um, I'm not sure if I explained it correctly, but we're about to see. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Too young to die. Hard but fair. I'm going to go classic, I guess. I don't, I don't remember if the original Evil Land um, had had a difficulty thing. So hello, G. We are going to begin your daily. We are going to begin your daily physical training session. When you hear the busser, move to the right. Okay, so they're like, as you can see, there's like total like, I like, even got a hat kind of like the original Pokemon. It's probably a bit of a parody of that. Uh, congratulations, G. On with the exercises. When you hear the busser, move to the left. Okay, so I, I'm guessing like before we couldn't even actually move to the left. As you can see, we're we're obtaining the movements. Like we obtained the move, the ability to go uh, right, and then we obtained the ability to go left. So well done, G. Now look around, up at the ceiling and down at the floor. Okay, now we can go up and down, and now uh, we can see more of the map. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. Yep, probably. Okay, perfect, G. Very good. Now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Look farther. Further? Farther? Whatever. Excellent, G. As you can see, um, shrubs are blocking your way. You should feel in a rational decide to chop them down with the sword we have provided. Do I have a sword? Oh, okay. Surface to use the sword. Congratulations. You're quite pleased to have chopped down those. You're quite pleased to blah, 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 whatever. As your reward, we'll put on some relaxing music. This feels so, so... Like Pokemon music. Good. You appreciate. We appre You appreciate this music. Continue on your way, G. We will now conduct a combat test in which. What? I didn't get read that. What the fuck? Oops. I apologize. A computing error. Okay. In short, fight. This feels like Zelda now, and even the uh, enemies look extremely, uh, like the octopus enemies. Except they're not firing shit out. Nicely done, G. You're pl you're pleased with your fight. It's even a pot in the corner. It's like it's gone from Pokemon to now uh, Zelda. So that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colours. There's bound to be so many parodies in this game about uh, other classic games. I'm probably going to miss a lot of them because I haven't played every single game. Works here. So any Yes, he's just right for the task we've be, we've been trusted to. It will be entrusted to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring out the end of the time, or the end of time itself. Rest assured, Professor. We've checked and double checked. Everything will proceed as planned. Good. We'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. Not sure if they're meant to be like the sages or something out of Zelda as well. I don't know. Right, so. But as you can see, we haven't even got colors yet, or we've got like two colors, and then we get um, maybe more colors, and then even more colors. 
A long time ago, the, the Mag Maggi Magi civilization has discovered a great... I can't even read today. Had discovered great secrets. No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after that. Marking the beginning of an era. Can I skip it a tiny bit faster? I really love the cutscene uh, graphics, they look pretty sick actually. Really simple, but they look really good and well done. In year 950, humans and demons fight and fought a merciless war. The human empire won at great cost. I actually not skip it. I'm not, so I don't want to skip it, but make it go a bit faster. The human oh, yes. I'm guessing it said the same thing. 50 years later, the city of Genova is preparing the remembrance ceremony of the victory. But not everything is as peaceful as it seems. Okay. Okay. Still hasn't really explained uh, anything to do with... Okay, see so now we've got like a lot more graphics. Like, like you can see that you, that you can still get a lot better uh, graphics, but they're, they're upgrading slowly and now we've got a few colors at least. Oh, you're awake? Are you feeling better? I'm guessing that's me, maybe? My father found you passed out in deep, out deep in the forest. You don't remember anything, not even your name. Maybe if you wandered around the forest, that would help jog your memory. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is... Uh, I'm just going to leave it how it is, I guess. I hope you'll remember everything quickly. So I get to choose her name before my own name. That's, that makes sense. A fire must be nice in winter. Okay. Is there chests? Are these chests? I'm not, how, I'm not sure how long this game is. The chest contains a beautiful green adventures costume. Seriously? No way you could wear that. You'd look ridiculous. <laughs> hey, I actually want that now. A nice pot that must contain a lot of interesting things, but you can't open it. Okay, anything else we can recognize from a different game? Obviously the beds out of like... There's probably something more interesting to look at. Okay. Um, right, there's nothing that really seems like there's anything more in this uh, room. Right, this at the moment reminds me quite a lot of... Uh, okay, how do we do that? I'll do. Reminds me quite a bit of uh, Golden Sun at the moment, especially this place. Look at the inn. This looks really, really cool. I enjoy these kind of games so much. Um, well, I'm not obviously going to stay at the inn because I've got full health. I think like even on Evil Land 1, it was like even more basic at the start and you kind of upgraded everything more. Uh, like, there's so much more you upgraded. Like, you upgraded everything slowly. Like, at the start, you literally couldn't move. And you didn't have a health bar or anything. You couldn't have. You didn't have an XP bar. You didn't have anything like that. And then all of a sudden, you like gained an XP bar and stuff like that. It was like a lot. Uh, it took like ages to get to this level what we're at now. Like they happened the other day. Are you looking for a weapon to go into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village, but it's abandoned since. I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old man Pole. He's got the key. But watch yourself, he's not the most he's going so or well, whatever. Did, was it me or did, did the screen just get a whole lot brighter? Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Maybe a young fellow. Blah, blah, blah. Fishing rods. Number one, fishing rods. My fishing rods are all tangled up. I can't tell one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch? Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Okay, so. Two. It's not two. It's not one. It's not three. It's four. Fucking genius. Thanks for helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's not good to me anymore. Okay, so you just give me a key to a whole fucking house. And it, it's fine, okay? It's nothing important to you. And so, yeah, then, then turn. Are you serious? It, like, that, that's what I meant. It was like all the movements and random shit, like HP, but I was explained in that exact way. Like a really ironic, sarcastic kind of way where they're just like, 
and then turn the gear like no fucking shit. But yeah, so now we should be able to go into this old house up here and get something key to the old house and get something to get a weapon. I didn't quite read what he said. What's this? An old grumbling, crumbling chest. You found five gold, okay. Not bad. Okay, so now we found four. Oh, no, no. Okay, I thought the gold was going to stay up there, but I actually didn't. What is this? Okay, I finally. Well, that music, though. That music. Here's hoping it doesn't shat on the first blow. Okay. Let's go. Typical enemies that divide. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, so we do get we do get XP like this. We're actually going to level up, so I'm not going to try and skip too many enemies. Don't know what that was. Is that XP? Does that is that what XP looks like? Can we fall down here? Nope. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, I think that is XP. So not all enemies give you XP by the looks of things. It's kind of interesting. So it's really a bit random, I'm guessing. But uh, like on Ocarina of Time, now we've got the sword. We should be able to go to the forest. Uh, I don't think there's going to ask you for a shield. Nobody said anything about a shield, so it should be good. Let's go to the forest. And you're going to say fuck all now, are you, bitch? Thank you. Haha, -ha, world map. Okay. That's interesting. Can we go? Oh, okay. Spellbuck forest. Maybe a little point at Spelunky. Maybe, I don't know. Any other types of enemies or what? Tango, cut the bushes down. Well, can we see another type of enemy maybe? Oh, uh, whatever the hell that is up there. It's like, just like a screw or something. I wonder how much health they take away from you from, from each hit. Probably a bit boring for you guys to watch, but I'm, just, I'm gonna try and kill most things for now. See what happens when I level up. Okay, these guys are mushrooms. Do they give you XP? I don't think they actually give you XP. No, unless you get the thing. Okay, okay that did five damage. I really, really wish you could run. There's gotta be a way of running. Yeah, help. Okay, that's Fina, whoever the hell that is. Just pressing the wrong button to attack, great. There you go. Usually I can manage on my own just fine, but it just so happens that I hate mushrooms. Anyway, thanks for your help. Huh, still can't remember your name, can you? How about I choose one for you, thanks. It'll be temporary, of course, as long as it takes for you. Remember it all. Let's see, your name should be... Yeah, whatever. Kudo. What a great name. So, Kudo, what do you say I can help you get deep into the forest, to the spot where my father found you? It just so happens that I have a little power. I could be real used to you. And apparently, I, I'm not even doing it now. God damn it. So, shall we? Yes, okay. When let's join the team. Um, can they all level up? I don't know. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, maybe with her power now we can break this stuff. Yeah. Now that I've been the team, you're working on you, blah, blah, whatever. For example, those thorny bushes. You won't be able to cut them if you have clean the way, but this would know how. And focusing, you should be able to do it. Try focusing, I'll come and help you. How do we focus? We're we not focusing. Oh, there we're focusing. No, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we can kind of like get them to attack as well, but I'm not sure if in combat system they'll attack on their own. I doubt it. So, after seeing that, I don't think so. Still, that really does whatever. Look. Yeah, yeah, I know I have to wait before you do it again. Save spot, save point. The game will be saved when you enter or leave each zone at save point. You activate it and some key events. Okay. Save.
Okay, so she's not going to attack unless I I want her to. It's kind of interesting. See so if we can do it here. Yeah, okay. Still don't think I have should wait that long for her just to attack. God damn it. Yeah, I'd probably stop doing that. It's not even worth it. Oh, I'm not pressing the bloody button. I'm not sure if my controller is having some issues here. It seemed like before with the text, it just skipped all of a sudden really, really fast. I didn't want it to. Fuck off. Can this uh, go through to more than one enemy? I'm not going to find out. Oh, level up. Okay, let's see what we can do for level up. Your hero has reached level 2. More 2 plus to attack, plus 1 defense, and plus 3 health. Okay. By the looks of things, like, further on you can charge... Oh, wow, I missed. <laughs> Four legs if I missed. Looks like you can charge more than one focus thingy up. Because there's, like, a number on it. I want to see if I can hit two at once. Come over here, guys. Yep, yes I can, that's pretty sick. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Come here. You level up quite fast with these guys. Okay, uh, focus this shit. We've got a chest over here. <laughs> you got green goo. Ack, it's sticky. Great. Can I see it on the uh, menu? Okay, what does this do? Ah, it's sticky. Doesn't it not even heal you or anything? Whatever. Hmm. Where do we go now through here, I'm guessing? Maybe later on you like learn more attacks and like if you charge it up to number two then it does a completely different attack. Something like that, I'm guessing. That XP, motherfucker. Up looks like the way we've got to go, so we're just going to ignore those guys. See if we can actually like kill at least one boss. Looks like it is here. We made it. Great. There's the spot where my dad found you. I'm sure his face cam is going to be fucking... Let's hide, they don't look friendly. Whatever. Did I... Is that rock moving behind us and nobody said fuck all? I'm just gonna open the window here because you probably can't see me. Fuck all. Maybe that's better. I saw one just like this years ago, but that one was broken. We absolutely need to need the energy from this Magilith. According to the Professor, Jiro's records the energy within the forest garden would be enough to trigger it. The Guardian's been long dormant, so it must be in a weakened state. We should have to. We should have no trouble whatsoever defeat, defending it. Soon I will have my revenge on these wretched humans. Prepare to summon the guardians. Kuro, this is awful. If they wake the forest guardian, it might attack my village. We've got to do something. You think we should stop him? Yep. That it's risky. What is that fucking rock doing there? <laughs> I'm sure. What the hell? Okay. We should probably try and stop him. The Guardian. Wait, watch out. It's more powerful than we anticipated. Let the thing wear itself out, destroying the bridge. We'll return afterwards and finish it off. Oh no, Kuro. We don't have to do it. Yeah, whatever. I know we're going to have to kill it. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Die, motherfucker. Focus. Pumba. Wow, that damage, though. That is fucking up. Fucking retarded. Oh wow, yeah, if we do that map damage, it's fine. We just do this and then it's like... No. We do this and it's like, fuck you. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh, one health. One health. One health. Holy shit. Dude, calm the fuck down. No. <gasps> the lock. The lock on me. Beautiful. Kind of remind me of um, Titan Souls there for a bit, actually. I don't know why. Okay, I was actually expecting him to be a bit easier than that. Do you mind?
Thank you. All right, we actually got loads of XP of that. We still only got one HP left. Uh, can we can we use the this? Nope. Fine. Finished. Jesus Christ, it's like he's going down the whole road in reverse or some shit. Anyway, the Medulus is shining. I've never seen it do that. Is that what these demons were talking about? There's something written on here. Lorem ipsu dolores sit amit. Perfect sense to me. It's glowing. What the heck? Really random change of graphics right there, but yeah, okay. We're going. Are we all of a sudden gonna get updated graphics, yeah? Oh no, we've gone back in time. Oh joy. What? What the heck happened? I feel different, less detailed. <laughs> yeah, how about you, Kuro? Same? No fucking shit. Now, where are we? It's a bit like Spellbuck Forest, but there's something different about it. Could be imagination, though. Either way, those demons put my village at risk. Got a head there now and warn everybody. Think you can find the path again? Yeah, whatever. Alright, I trust you. Let's get going. This is like clearly Pokemon now. Like. Like, it's this, this the same thing. What the fuck are you? Okay, I, no way. Oh, I can just break it. Fine. Yeah, so we've been back in time now. We look like Pokemon graphics with less details and shit. Right, okay, but yeah guys, I'm gonna leave it here. My objection, my objection, my objective was uh, to beat the first boss on this episode. Uh, see what the game was out of. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I really, I really, I'm out of it today. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to see if it was uh, worth recording or not. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, we, we'll continue. I guess we're gonna be doing a few more episodes at least. Um, in between Limbo and Dark Souls, obviously. So yeah guys, uh, if you enjoy this, let me know what you think in the comments about this game. Give a like and subscribe, and see you next time guys.